Hey guys, I am, that's really bad lighting. I don't know how to fix the lighting, my lamp. Is that better? Anyway, um, it's not better. <laughs> I am sitting in my office. I look like, yeah, uh, I'm in my like Christmas onesie with Frosty the Snowman. Let's see if I can show you. Because it was a sick day today. Uh, I am utterly exhausted. I am so tired. I am <coughs> I have not felt well um, all day. Like I struggled to get up and get the kids off to school. Brandon works third shift at a hospital. So he's never here to help me in the morning um, unless he's not working the night before. What is on my eye? Anyway, I got, here's what happened today. I struggled to get up. I got the kids off to school. Um, Mason was really not feeling well. He had sore throat. He was completely exhausted to the point where he was just a blob. He was like zombie child. And so he slept on the couch all day or next to me in my bed as I slept. Um, and we are just trying to get better. Um, it's really weird having both of us that have autoimmune diseases. We catch the exact same thing at the same time and it's not fun because we're not happy people. Um, and then I had to cancel my eye appointment because I did not feel good. I got some really bad news last night. Um, my grandma, my grandma, the kid's great grandmother who is... 94 or 95. I'm not 100 percent sure. I say 95. Brandon says 94. She fell uh, at her house and she broke her hip. So she is in the hospital and has been since yesterday. She's waiting on surgery to fix her hip and then she'll be going to rehab. And she's a very independent person. So this will be really, really hard on her. Um, but I didn't get much sleep last night. Mason's blood sugars are all over the place. I think he is coming out of that honeymoon phase of diabetes. And what that means is that when you first get diagnosed with diabetes, your body has attacked your pancreas and it attacks a specific cell in the pancreas. The only cells in the body that create insulin from the pancreas are called beta cells. And so most of the research says that when you, when a newly diabetic diagnosed person, uh, right when they're diagnosed, they probably have, their body has probably already killed off 80 to 90% of their beta cells. And that's on average, that's not everyone. So the body is running with really high blood sugars for a very long time, um, month or two. And, um, once your body starts getting the synthetic insulin after your diagnosis, your pancreas kind of like wakes up. And so the last 10 to 20% of beta cells that are there start working a little bit so you can get to a point where you're regulating your blood sugars pretty easily. You think, you start to wonder, oh, well, maybe this is wrong. Maybe because, you know, my blood sugars are leveling out a little bit or Mason's blood sugars and you're able to kind of regulate it and you don't need as much insulin and you're taking it down and down and down and working with your educators. Well, all of a sudden <laughs> something happens and you are no longer able to really regulate your insulin with, see, I hear his alarm going off right now. Um, it's, let's see, it is 941 at night. And what's been happening is that, um, Every night for the past, let's see, it started on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, today's Thursday. The last several nights, Mason has been going up to almost 400 with his blood sugars. Um, we have to keep waking him up and giving him more insulin and more insulin and more insulin. And um, it usually starts right about now between 9 and 10 p.m. It'll start climbing. And... Um, I usually try to wait to see if it's going to level out because in the past it has leveled out and it has come back down because he takes a short acting insulin, which he takes every time he eats and it lasts for about three hours in the body. And then he takes a long acting insulin that is supposed to kind of work for 24 hours in his body. He gets the long acting insulin around 
8 or 8.30 before he goes to bed. Well, in the past, for the last four months, so he's been, since he's been diagnosed, that long-acting insulin will usually kick in once he starts going up and kind of like level out his numbers and bring it back down to normal as he sleeps. And then he was usually going low over the night. So we'd have to wake him up once or twice, and usually once, and give him some juice to bring him back up. Well, now he's skyrocketing. He's going really, really high. And uh, it's every single night, the alarms go off for a long time. Because even when I give him the insulin, it's not really coming down. Um, it's very frustrating. I'm not getting any sleep whatsoever. The boys all sleep downstairs in the same room. It's a really big room and the beds are kind of lined up. They're king size beds. And um, they are kind of immune to the alarms now. Like none of them even hear it. I hear it. <laughs> Because I have to train myself to hear it and to wake up every single time. And um, his alarms started going off about 15 minutes ago. And we're already at like 210. And so I'm going to have to wake him back up. And this is major drama. Like you can't give him a shot while he's asleep because he will like punch you. Um, not on purpose. Just it's somebody stabbing you while you're asleep. And if you wake him up, he goes, hold on, hold on, no, no, wait, 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 wait. And it goes on for like 15 minutes and he kind of falls back asleep. And then he's like, wait, wait, wait. And then he falls asleep and then he's like, wait, wait. And it's so hard. It's so dramatic. It's so hard. But he, I think he's coming out of that honeymoon phase. We talked to his educator and they are bumping up his dose at night just like by one unit to see if through the weekend that helps. So far, it's not helping. <sighs> I'm really tired. And he feels like crap because his sugars are all over the place. He still doesn't have huge ketones or anything, which is really good because that's when you have to go to the hospital um, that's when your body, the blood fills up with like acid because you're not able, because your blood sugars are really high and we're not having that yet. So I'm just really, really tired and I end up staying up really late because I have to keep monitoring his blood sugar and giving him more insulin and fighting with him and, and he's a grump and I'm a grump and the other kids are stuck in the middle dealing with it. And my husband keeps texting me from work saying, hey, do you know his blood sugar is this? I'm like, yes, I know, I know. And uh, not to be mean to him because he's trying to help, but it's frustrating because like I want help here at home, but he's at work and he has to work and I get it. I'm just tired.